Hi, and welcome to Make It Mug Want. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, just washed my beauty blender. Go water everywhere. This is new hair. I'll take it down at the end of the video. I'll help me remember. Somebody remind me. Um, let's put some makeup on our face. It's Sunday. I do what I want. I pulled out a bunch of new stuff. Some I have used before. It's just, I'm confessing now. So here's one thing that I'm going to do real quick. Law, y'all. Can I just? So you know I'm a Bath and Body Works freak. And the Winter Peach Marshmallow is a 10 out of 10. It is so, it's so good. I don't have the candle. I might need it. Okay, let's, uh, let's get ready for nothing. I'm going nowhere with no one. So let's, let's put some makeup on our face. I am going to film a few things. This is the effing primer from Kim Chi Chic. I haven't used this one. This is the hydrated one. This is the one I haven't used yet, so we're going to use her. It's in a little squeezy tube, which I very much enjoy for, um, ew, for primers and other things. My sunscreen and all skincare went on hours ago because I have actually done things today in my home. That's just like a lotion. Just like a lotion. The lotion. I do enjoy this. I do wish that the two primers are, they're identical except for the teeny tiny words on the back and the bottom. I do wish that they had a, maybe a differentiation on the bottle itself, like either a different color or something that I could just look and see because I have both, that kind of thing. I'm just bitching now for no reason. All right, let's primer out. Oh, y'all, I pulled painterly out. Y'all, it's like old school in here. This is my, I used up a whole painterly last year, I think. And this is my replacement. And then I started using other stuff. And she got knocked to the back. I disrespected Miss Painterly here. So I'm going to pull her back out and use her. Look how beautiful. It covers up all of my veins and freckles and all kinds of things on my eyelid. I have freckles on my eyelid. Very thin eyelids because she fair. Plus, she sun damaged. So she's got a lot. I have got a wipe out. Who's prepared? Who's professional? So, let me tell you about all the things that have been going on lately. Because you haven't seen me in a hot minute. I haven't seen you in a hot minute either. Happy holidays. We're getting down to the wire. Hope that uh, you're enjoying your company parties. All that jazz. I do not enjoy things like that. However, we're going to have a good time uh, at my team party. Okay, this is the LA Color Conceal and Correct. We're going to put a little bit right there. It's dark as all get out, but it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to try her underneath foundation, and then we're going to put brightener on underneath. This is what we're doing. We're trying all the things today because we can. So... Pretty sure I'm going to do like a virtual escape room with my team at work for our holiday whatever that we do. I think that will be quite fun. We're um, all a bit nutty. And uh, I think we would enjoy solving puzzles and things like that together. So I think that's what we're going to do. And i got to figure that out quick, don't I? <laughs> I'm actually taking time off of work. I'll be traveling for the holidays this year, which I haven't done in a while. We're super excited to see Mr. Mugmunk's family. I'm going to mix two foundations. I think I hate this foundation. This is the Koki Full Coverage in 10C. I think I hate it. And so I'm going to try it again to double check. But I'm pretty sure I hate it. So I'm going to put a couple squirts onto my fancy makeup palette, which is a Bath & Body Works candle lid. And then I'm going to use... A little bit of this. This I know is too dark. This is the Guerlain L'Essential Natural Glow Foundation. It is in medium. We know she's too dark because she is pasty. Um, so let's let's scoosh her into the Koki foundation we think we hate and that is probably too light. 
and see how she goes. Anybody think this is going to end poorly? Don't you naysay. Don't you naysay. Okay. This is probably terrible. We're doing it anyway. I do what I want. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like before I mix it together. Oh, this can't, this can't possibly work. <laughs> Stop it. I have this little spatula that came with some cleansing balm that I got from some Korean cleansing balm, which love. And, uh, so I kept it because it was great at scooping out, like, you know, something that's semi-solid that kind of, you know, melts as you put it on your skin. That's great. But I use it for mixing. I mean, I'm like a little chemist here. Like who, who, you can't even talk to me. <coughs> Why do I always cough on here? I literally don't cough all day. And then I get on here and I cough. Cheers. Okay. Let's smear her on. With this bad boy. Y'all see this thing on my nose right here? Um, oh lord, that was the most painful. It was like a cystic, acne, blemish, giant, every nerve ending in my body was attached to it. And it was on the only part of my body that doesn't have a lot of flesh. I mean, come on. It was right there. It hurt so bad. I just kept putting patches on and salicylic acid during the day, patches at night, and praying for the sweet release of death. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so painful, y'all. So painful. Anyway, it, uh, it is still red, not painful anymore. Um, patches, those acne patches that, I mean, I love them. I haven't found one that I hate. I don't like the ones that are just tea tree. I'll say that. If it's just tea tree and nothing else, those don't really work for me. Just like if I use simple tea tree oil, it doesn't work for my acne. There's something about my acne that doesn't do that. So I need salicylic acid. Um, I need something else. Like I can't just do tea tree. There's something, there's something wrong with me. So the ones that have salicylic acid work really well. Okay, so what? Do, first of all, it's probably too dark, but I don't actually hate the Koki foundation mixed in with that girl on. <laughs> How interesting. I've got like sunspots and everything else. Like I'm just, this is not full coverage. That Koki says it is, but, and I used a good amount. Let's use just a smooge more, just Koki by itself. To see if we really hate it. Okay, see, so, I mean, she's light, man. She light, she kind of, and she kind of ashy light, you know what I'm talking about? Let's just do this and let's see how she goes right here. That girl on is supposed to be kind of glowy, which I like. I like glowy things. Um, my face. Thank you very much. So holiday stuff happening and I'm traveling. So I will be here. Um for another week and then and so my family is going to celebrate we celebrate Christmas um my family's going to celebrate Christmas um the weekend before Christmas so next weekend because um we will be out of town for actual Christmas so we will do that we are all having a meal and then we will open presents and do all that jazz so we are doing that next weekend Super excited. We are doing lasagna this year. We don't necessarily have like a special specific meal that we eat every year. You know, some people have very tradition, like they have traditions in their family about what meal they eat on the holiday. We don't, um, specific to Christmas. And so that's fine. I actually don't hate that. I'm not going to go buy that girl on foundation, but I think I can mix the cookie with something glowy and darker and I think we can get something halfway decent just saying I'm gonna use a new product for under my eyes this is the cover perfection tip concealer hello from the s-a-e-m the same it is spf 28 I got this off of 
Yes, style. And it is a brightener. Boy, howdy, is she? Okay. We'll do it. It's fine. We're just home. Home, home, home. It's fine. Just cracked her open today. Super excited to try this out. So we'll be here for that. And then we are, oh my Lord, have mercy on my soul. That's really brightening. You don't need to use as much as I did. Uh, anyway, so then we are traveling to the state of Missouri, which is, I think, about 14 hours from here. We're going to make it a two-day trip. We can make it, and we have made it, in one uh, day. But we're going to go a little bit easier this go-around. Spend the night uh, halfway there um, and just kind of take our time so that we're not super tired by the time we get there because we want to be able to enjoy it. Um, we have found that if we go all 14 hours in one day, by the time we get either there or back, we're worthless the next day because we're just so tired that it is not really worth it. So we're going to ease on down the road and go at a decent pace. We will drive. We could fly. It takes about the same amount of time to fly as it does to drive. And that sounds crazy, but it's that's how it is in uh, airports. <laughs> so you have to get there early. So you have to, and for us, we are in a town with a very, uh, a regional airport. We're going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent. I got this in a box forever ago and just haven't even opened it. So we're going to open it today. Um, beautiful. So we could fly, um, but we would have to fly from our town to a larger airport layover. From that larger airport to St. Louis Airport layover. And then on another puddle jumper to a small regional airport. And, you know, that takes all dang day. So we might as well drive. And we enjoy driving. Mr. Mugwump and I both enjoy driving. It's a little mesh. See that? Little mesh. We enjoy driving, so uh, we're going to. And he listens usually to an audiobook, or we have done podcasts. And I try to stay awake and then I fall asleep. Um, there's something about sleeping in a car that I enjoy very much. I don't know. It's a thing. And then I also enjoy um, just the scenery. The, you know, looking at things. I don't know. Is that odd? Do you enjoy riding in a car? I guess some people do. Some people don't. Use the little puff that it came with for under the eyes. That looks nice. All right, let's put it all over my face. I'm just going to use my brush and kind of get in there and see what we can do here. Just setting that foundation down. Definitely looks powdery, obviously. Ha ha ha, because I just powdered. But it's not too bad. I will spray a setting spray here in a second to uh, see how that goes. It's not a bad little powder. I mean, you can tell I'm powdery, but it's not terrible. It could be worse. All right, let's, well, let's do like blush bronzer highlight, then we'll spray. How about that? All right, I've got a new bronzer. Check it out. This is the other in the... Physicians Formula. This is called the Butter Cake Bronzer. I am addicted to the coffee. I absolutely love the Butter Donut. It came shattered. Buttered Cake apparently did pretty good. I do not know how dark this is. Let's go. Oh, she's dark. Okay, cool. And there is a light, shimmery, like a highlighter kind of color in the middle of it. In the middle. Like, see it? It's there. So this is going to be shiny unless you have a very small brush. Like this is going to be shimmery. Not glittery, just just sheen. But strong sheen, like strong sheen. 
I'll blend. Don't worry. It smells like cake. The coffee is still my favorite scent and color. <clears throat> I tell you, it happens every time. For those of you thinking that I am very calmly dressed today, it's because on down below I have like tie dyed leggings on. Like I am loud, very loud. You just can't see the loud part. <laughs> All right, this is something that I've had for flipping ever. This is called the Revolution Vintage Lace Blush Intense Dual Pigment Blusher. There is an overspray. You can see the overspray where I've swatched these things. I've had this for a, quite a while, and I have I've not used it, used it. And I think it's because of the silly overspray. I can't stand an overspray. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to take this over my trash can and use a fan brush and try to get off the overspray because I don't want silver glitter particles or gold glitter particles on my face. Well, I did pretty good. There's still some like it's, they're embossed. So sorry for you watching me do the magic behind the curtain. They're embossed. So there's still some like in there, but it's better. Okay. Let me clean off my fan brush here. Poor thing. It's like, what are you using with pigment here? Okay, take my blue sprues. Again, I'm gonna blend, so don't sweat. I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'll try this one here, this one right here. Let's, let's try her out. I mean, I know that an overspray probably catches people's attention and that makes, you know, the product sell better in the store. I just, it's so deceptive because you're like, is it, you know, is it this glowy or is it not? And, you know, I just, oh, just do what you're supposed to do, people. There's still a couple little particles on my face, but I think it's a nice blush. I'm very glowy though, super glowy. I think that might be more usable now. I just didn't take the time to like clean it off. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just like, meh, I'll get to it later. And then it sat there for, I don't know how long, quite a while because I didn't want to be bothered. All right, highlighter that's been sitting there for a while too. This is from the Elf, oh, like re as the Retro, maybe? I, can't, I think it's the Retro, whatever. But this is the Multi-Dimensional Face and Body Shimmer. I have two shades. Um, I. I think this is called Soul. Is this shade? This is the darker of the shades. It's quite pretty, but it has this like that's such a cool color. Throw that away. Recycling and trash live over there, by the way. Um, so let's break out that fan brush again, which is covered in blush, but it's fine. Let's see how she does. Oh yes, that's very very strong. Oh yes, she's quite strong. quite pretty. Nice. All right, let's blend this face because she's blending. This is a very cute brush. This is from AOA Studio. It's just shopmissa.com. It is an online dollar store that has AOA Studio is the house brand of Shop Miss A. Y'all, I can't, I mean, they've never heard of me. I cannot recommend them enough for several things. One, brushes. Two, just try any of the makeup and see if you like it. It's a dollar. Many, many hits from there. But uh, pens are another thing that I've recently like stationary pens, like writing with pens. I don't know. Um, love theirs. They have the thinnest nibs ever. I love them. Love them so much. So uh, I'm gonna put on some brow pomade from LA Colors. I have not used brow pomade in a long time. This is dark brown. I'm gonna use a small angle brush with a spoolie on the other end. We're gonna do some brow pomade today as I spread it all over my hands because, well, y'all missed it, but I used this brow, brow pomade. Uh, my sister had to call me in the middle of my video. So I talked to her for a minute while I did my brows. Then they look nice. That's nice. That's a that's a nice little pomade. That's LA Colors. It's in dark brown. Cool. Okay, let's spray my face 
and let's oh let's just let's use a crazy sparkly one because it's Sunday and we do what we want this is the the wet and wild uh twin stars one it's called the twinkle star ah, this is their latest collab it smells really good if you like fragrance not the spray for you but I love it If you want to see the whole Twin Stars collection, I've got that video on my channel because I bought the whole dang thing. And I love, like, everything in it. I've had such a good time with it. So cute. So cute. Okay. Now, less powdery. Way glowy. Super cute. Now, let's talk my things. So, I pulled... I'm Okay, so I'm still in the middle of... This year, I'm using one eyeshadow palette every single day and can't use it two times. Like, and I'm, we're coming close. We're at the end of December. I say end. It's the middle of December. It's the middle of December and I'm almost done. And I can't tell you how, how happy I am that I am almost done because I'm tired of using a different eyeshadow. I'm going to go and use my favorites again and I can't. Haven't been able to all year long. So, I'm not done, by the way. I will have extra eyeshadow palettes left over at the end of the year because I have more than 365. I didn't use eyeshadow every single day either, so I really am. It's a whole thing. But something that I pulled to use is the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Mattifying. It is just a neutral little matte quad. And then I pulled a single eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. This is called Queen Phyllis. She's stunning. Okay, let me show you how this works. All right, I'm going to go real quick with the matte medium shade here. This will be a very quick eye look, y'all. These LA Colors little matte quads, I have another one too. Um, they are so good for every day. Throw it on. You don't have to like work too hard because it's easy. It's just so easy. That would be enough for me on like an everyday no makeup makeup look. That would be enough. But we're going to go a little bit more today just because I feel like it. Feeling froggy. Okay, let's see here. I want a decent crease brush, please. I say decent. I mean like a specific shade. Okay. Just going to go this, the next shade down into like on the outer corner and in, into the crease not as high as that last shade and just slap it in there this is really really easy and then this this kind of quad oh it's it's neutral it's not warm it's not cool so you can use it with warm or cool lid shades so if like this is all you want to do and then you have like a single or you have like glitters or metallics or whatever from another palette this is a great palette to just grab for the supporting palette of whatever lid shade you want to use like this is a fabulous lid. it's just tiny it's really inexpensive and it works really well like super well so that's it if you want to put that dark brown on the out out corners you can I'm not going to I'm going for a lighter look all right let me show you Queen Phyllis this this girl here She's super messy because she's super full because she's been in my collection for a very long time. I have not bought a loose eyeshadow pigment in a very long time. And Bare Minerals, Minerals was one of the very first things that I ever got that was loose like this. Because I bought a kit off of QVC. That was my first makeup um, was a kid off of QVC. And so I'm using just a flat shader brush to, it's, it's dry. You can make it, you can wet it and it would be even more pigmented and opaque, but I'm just using her dry. Look at shine. Um, and I'm not using a whole lot. Like I'm, it's not caked on. Like there's, there's not a lot here. If I wanted to go ham, I could and foil it, but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to put 
put it on dry. It's just a beautiful shade. Then I'm going to take the, sh the brush that I used to put that transition color on and just buff out above my crease real quick. It's so pretty. Phyllis is beautiful. Let me show you Queen Phyllis on my hand. This is on my dry, dry hand. Look at that shine. Beautiful. If you haven't dug these things out, you have them in the back of a drawer somewhere. This is still, it's, they're still good, y'all. They're still really, really good products. Super good. I highly recommend that you do that. Dig them out. Try to incorporate them. And this is a great way to do it. Okay. I have a brand new eyeliner, which I'm going to give a whirl to. This is the M. Oh gosh, let me make sure I get the, it's called Mac Queen. If this is um, a product from Yes Style, it's a, a Korean brand. Little pen. Um, yep, Mac Queen New York is what it's called. This is in 01 Deep Black. It is a waterproof pen eyeliner. I had a very small Yes Style order come in because I bought new sunscreen. I wanted to try this one. This is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. It's SPF 50. Um, and she's lovely. I've, I have tried her. So let's see how this eyeliner pen does. Oh, I messed up. Ooh, I messed up. Not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad at all, actually. If you don't mess it up, which I did, I just made it thicker than I wanted to. So that's all. Okay, it does have the capability of making a very thin line, which I appreciate. I'm gonna have to thicken it up to match the other one. for today. It's actually quite nice. My very favorite eyeliner pen is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. This is um, a normal size. Help, let me grab my Maybelline real quick. She's a baby, so like it's a little bit bigger, but that's not bad at all. If she's waterproof and she stays all day, that's gonna make me very happy. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do my lips. This is a new product for me from AOA Studio from Shop Massey. This is their bullet lipstick in the shade Fling. And I haven't tried her yet. I was hoping it would be a nude, y'all. It's looking real, real bricky, real, you know, Not on me. I'm not saying I don't like it. Hang on, I gotta fix it. But that's not a new on me. It's not terrible. too orangey yo if I'm gonna go orange I want to go like really really orange it's very nice though it's not bad real creamy that's not bad I just don't like it the color I haven't been doing great on colors lately have I no no I have not <laughs> no you haven't I'll leave it on for a moment okay these are oldies but goodies so I did not open a new mascara for today while I love you all, trying to get a hold of myself for the number of mascaras that I have open. Get a hold of yourself, woman. And so I will be 
using some oldies but goodies, but some I haven't used in a hot minute. So um, this is the Epic Curl from KVD Vegan Beauty, Beauty Lash Primer. And then the Il Maquillage Mascara. Well, I haven't broken her out in a hot minute. I have been using, let's see, I've been using the Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Waterproof. I've been using the Heroin Make Long and Curl Waterproof. And my Essence Lash Princess non-waterproof. I've been using those lately. I do like the Maybelline Sky High as well. Um, I haven't been using her as much recently, but those are the ones that are open right now. Besides some that are like hanging in the back and kicking around back there. I'll probably open some new mascaras near the beginning of the year. Typically, after the holidays, the drugstore makeup new products come out. And I go and pick up the ones that I like, try them all out. And that usually does include some new mascaras. So I'll be doing that in a month. I'll also be attempting to get another Beautylish Lucky Bag this year. I love those. They make me so happy and I look forward to them all year long. And some of you found my channel for uh, my 2021 lucky bag. And I love watching videos of what people get. I don't buy high-end makeup very often. And so um, what I get in those bags is usually safe because I, I don't have it. Last year I had a Tom Ford quad. Never bought Tom Ford in my life. Not Tom Ford quad in my life. You know, like, so it's, it's safe. Charlotte Tilbury. I don't buy anything from her. Like that kind of thing. That's like the luxury brands. I don't actually have a lot of that stuff. And so when I get a lucky bag from Beautylish, it's almost guaranteed that I won't have those products, which is fabulous. If you haven't ever Heard of it? Go crack open YouTube and, and watch some videos. It is so much fun. Um, on the 26th of December, they go on sale, and there are a limited number of them, and there are different tiers of them. So, different prices. And I think two years ago, they started doing. Jeffree Star, no Jeffree Star. Not, I say no. Jeffree Star, but and then the regular. And I ordered two years ago. I ordered the non-Jeffree Star one and got Jeffree Star in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Last year, I got the Tom Ford. I was very happy with that. Okay. A couple things. One, when I went to put on... Eyelash curler. I've got some of my eyeliner off. Probably means that it wasn't quite dry. So I'm going to go over it real quick one more time to fill in that hole that I made. It did it on the center of my other eye, too. Go me. Okay. Quite happy with the lashes, actually. Um, That KVD, this one, Lash Primer. Um, I don't use Lash Primer all the time. This one's good. This one's a really good volumizer uh, in my book. And so you can see, I mean, it's it's quite nice. Uh, I'll also enjoy the Il Maquillage. This is a, I got this in a box, I'm pretty sure, um, in a subscription box and love it a lot. Would never buy it, but happy to have it and try it. Love that mascara. Um, I like a lot of mascaras, but that one is really, really nice. Okay, so let's take stock of face. I think we look pretty much amazing, except for the lip color. All right, would you like to see my hair? Yes, you would. Hold, please. All right, so for those of you who've been with me for my hair journey, a couple things. One, we're going with side swept bangs now instead of just straight on down, which I like. And then it is all piled up back there. Hold on. Got a little cute little, like a you pick. We did a neon pink to orchid to the, to the purple. <laughs> there she is. There she is. 
Look at that beautiful ombre. I'm telling you what, if you live in Eastern North Carolina and you want a hair colorist, you message me on Instagram or Facebook right now and I'll tell you who to go to because she's amazing. She's the best. I don't know if she's accepting new clients, but we'll talk. She's the best. Isn't that gorgeous? Just don't love the lip color. Other than that, I think we're ready to go. 10 out of 10. Thanks for hanging out with me and trying new makeup. I had a great time. I hope you did too. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's be friends. I'm going to film a haul. Um, I've got ColourPop and other things that I need to show y'all. And uh, yeah, oh, uh, probably a palette parade to show you what palettes I've been using on my eyeballs. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.